heavyweight boxing fans, what's the deal? This was a very entertaining welterweight fight. Definitely replay value with this fight. Very entertaining. A fight like this, both guys, you know, they go away from this fight with no excuses. They laid it all in the ring. No excuses for this fight. Uh, I had the fight seven rounds to five, the same as the judges. Um, a lot of these rounds were hard to score. Uh, what I was noticing throughout the fight is when Porter had Thurman against the ropes, that's when he was letting his best work go. But the thing is, Thurman was throwing back off the ropes. He just didn't rest. There were a few times there Porter caught Thurman with body shots. They seemed to affect him a little bit. There was one time he retreated. Uh, Thurman did after he got hit in the body by Porter, but Thurman was landing some beautiful, and I said this in my prediction videos, he throws beautiful left hooks in between his opponent's uh, combinations, and he was doing that to Thurman, or he was doing it to Porter, rather, and there were a few times Porter was just walking into left hooks. That dude has a beard on him, man. He was taking some crazy shots tonight. Um, it's crazy because the crowd kept... <laughs> The, the crowd was booing Thurman after the decision win. So maybe in the Barclays at the arena, they, you know, probably saw a different fight when you're live and in action. But to me, it was 7-5 Thurman. I thought I thought it was really close, though. Um, Thurman, I thought he could have used his jab a little bit more. He was pumping it out a little bit. But he, is, he has some really good defense. He was moving his head, slipping. He was staying off the ropes as much as he could. But Porter had his success when he was putting Thurman on the ropes trying to dog him out with right hands and ripping him to the body. I thought he went away from his body work earlier, from earlier in the fight, but Thurman was fighting off the ropes, and he was making it hard for uh, Porter to really get his shots off because he was rolling and bending. He just wasn't against the ropes just standing there. He was, you know, rolling, bending under shots, countering with his own hooks and uppercuts. This was a brutal fight, man. I wonder if this type of fight will take something out of these these dudes after a fight like this. Um, but they're in their prime, though. But this this type of fight that takes, you know, a year off you, man. I thought, I thought it was a brutal fight. Minus the, you know, it wasn't six or seven drag out knockdowns or nothing. But as far as staying on their feet and uh, staying in there and trading shots, I thought it was a pretty brutal fight. Um, Thurman, he was he was doing a good job moving, um, letting his hands go, throwing a combinations. Porter... Like I said, his best work is when he had Thurman on the ropes, smothering him. Sometimes he was smothering his own work, but for the most part, he was getting the best of Thurman against the ropes. And then Thurman to answer back, and he will push Porter off of him. A few times he got Porter against the ropes. Then Porter was doing the old maneuver where he'll they'll grab each other, and then he'll spin Thurman back onto the ropes. So there's a lot of things going on in this fight, little subtle things going on. But I gave Thurman a fight. The judges had a unanimous decision, 115-113. Damn good fight. I'm out.